If you're like me, you've driven past the Unicorn Bookshop on Route 50 in Trap, Maryland, thousands of times. You've always been in a rush to get somewhere else. I've gone to many, and this is the biggest, bestest, superest. I love it here. If you do stop, you find there are over 30,000 books sorted by category. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, it's, it's, it's serious. And a kindly bookseller who's a lot of fun. There are a lot of old maps and a lot of old clocks. Monday is clock day. It doesn't take an entire day. It probably takes about 20 minutes. You know, it's good to find what you expect, but it's better to find what you don't. They had all kinds of adventures. They lost their rudder twice. And I didn't expect to catch these two guys in the act of publishing an unknown work by a man often called the Thoreau of Maryland, Mr. Gilbert Byron. Gilbert shared a birthday of July 12th with Thoreau, and it turned out there are many parallels in his life. Thoreau is best known for Walden's Pond, Byron for another pond, the Chesapeake Bay, which he immortalized in his book, The Lord's Oysters. Which I think is one of the best books ever written about the Eastern Shore. It's a fictionalized version of his life, his growing up in the early 1900s in Chestertown. This was a sailboat that he and Lewis sailed on down the bay in 41. Uh, Dawson and his friend Jack Baker both knew Byron, and they have rescued an unpublished manuscript called a Chesapeake Odyssey. Byron wrote about a trip that he and two friends took up and down the bay in 1941. Now the odd thing is they didn't plan to do this book, it just sort of happened. Read it and I thought, well maybe I'll Xerox it just so I could have a copy for myself. And by the time they were done, it was a real book. And I'm thinking, well wow, you know, this this is really shaping up to be something, and if I really like it and it looks good, maybe other people will be interested in it. But that's as far as it's gone yet. Just goes to show how far you can go when you don't plan ahead. Much of what I seem to do is accident or you're looking for one thing. Never find that, but find five more things that are far better than whatever it is I was looking for. In beautiful Trap, Maryland, this is Charles Paparella for WBOC News.